Hi everyone! I'm Shauna from the Shelton Timberland Library and today I want to talk to you about how to do coffee filter tie-dye art. If you don't have coffee filters, don't worry, keep watching. I'm going to talk about some other things you can use. I also um, am going to put all of our supplies down in the description of this video so you can also check there. So what is coffee filter tie-dye art? So this is one I made, and if you can see, all of these colors spread out all over the coffee filter and they kind of started to mix and move around. So that's how this project is going to look. And if you don't have coffee filters, you could also use paper towels. They work really well. And you can even use sheets of paper. Now the colors aren't, might not be as vibrant when you do it on a sheet of paper, but you can still get the colors to move around and it can still be a lot of fun. So why make this project? Well, for very young children, this works as an early science experiment because they are getting to see what happens when we add water to markers and they get to see the colors mix and what happens when different colors mix. So you can make this especially um, educational by just asking questions. What's happening? What are you going to do next? Why do you think that happened? So let's start about what you need. So I already said you can do coffee filters, paper towels, or regular paper. You also need water. You can use a spray bottle and that's a lot of fun. This kind of handle is easier for younger kids than the pump spray bottles, but either one works. Um, if you don't have a spray bottle, you could also add water with a bowl and a spoon, or if you have eyedroppers, those can be a lot of fun for kids to add water to their project. And then you need markers. So what you need is water-based markers. How do you know if your markers are water-based? Well, most children's markers are water-based. Um, and if they say they're washable, they are definitely water-based. But there's also a way you can check. And so I'm gonna show you real quick how you can test your markers to see if they are water-based. You ready? Okay, so here I have my paper and my three types of markers. And I'm going to draw a circle with each color. So this is a Sharpie. And my orange one is a Crayola marker. And this one is a Copic. All right, so those are my three circles, and I'm gonna move these markers out of the way. And now I'm gonna spray them with water. And you can see that the Crayola marker is water soluble. You see all of this color that's moving around. It's not staying in a circle but the Sharpie and the Copic marker are both staying pretty much where I drew them. You're not really seeing the um, colors move around on the paper. So we know that the Crayola marker is water soluble and the other two are permanent. So the Crayola markers are what I'm going to use for this project. And now that I know what markers to use, I can get started. Okay. So you've tested your markers, you have what you're gonna draw on, you've figured out how you're gonna add your water. Now let's see what our projects might turn out like. Here's the video.
Okay, what if you don't have a spray bottle? So I am going to use a bowl of water and a spoon to add the water to my coffee filter. So let's see how this works. And you can see I did make a big puddle in the middle, but we can press down on the edges to get that to spread out. And so that works. It's just going to be a lot more water all at once, but we're getting some really cool effects with the colors moving around on the coffee filter. So this one's probably going to turn out to be pretty interesting. So. If you don't have a spray bottle to use, you can absolutely just use a bowl of water and a spoon to add the water to your project. I hope you had fun watching how to make your own coffee filter tie-dye art at home. If you're looking for more ideas, remember to check out all of our awesome STEAM videos on our YouTube page. And also, I am a big fan of Babble Dabble Do. So I'm going to put a link in the description to their website and you can find even more fun art and steam projects. I am so glad y'all could stop by. Thanks.